I'm here at Silverstone for the final part of Joseph Loke's Aston Martin Autosport BRDC Young Driver Award. In addition to the check for 200,000 pounds, he also gets the chance to test a 2022 Aston Martin Formula One car here at Silverstone. Over the next two days, we'll chat with Joseph to understand a little bit more about him, his expectations, and his experience during this test. And we'll also talk to some of the team to get a bit more of a feel as to what goes into a test like this for them. Also, I'll share a bit of insight as to what's happening behind the scenes at a test like this from an engineering point of view. And we usually don't get too much information here, but there's definitely a lot more that meets the eye, not only for the team, but also for Joseph. It's the day before the test and Joseph sees the Aston Martin Formula One car that he'll be driving for the first time. Remember Craig from last time? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's gonna strap yeah, you in all the time. Yeah, should Let's jump in and see if the seat is okay. Yeah, cool. Oh. Where can I stand? Uh, on you, you can either stand on you, jump in, or whatever okay. you find easier. Yeah, that's cool. I always stand here in the front as well. Oh. It's a lot bigger than an F3 car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit distracted now, you've kind of, kind of got me a bit excited. Yeah, pedals feel good, I think. Ooh. It's the first time I've actually seen the dashboard on. Is there a way of me seeing how much brake pressure I need? Just so that I don't go out and, I don't know, double lock the fronts or something straight away. Yeah. It's so light, it's ridiculous. I bet you love this part of the job, don't you? Of course, mate. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a long step. Oh. Yeah, we're good. I'm only a little guy. Okay. So in the jump out test, do I just have to get out? I don't have to put the wheel back on. You have to put the wheel back on. That's okay. seven plus five. Yeah, okay. In order to be able to drive the car tomorrow, he needs to be able to perform a jump out test to ensure that he can leave the car safely in case of an emergency. He'll have just seven seconds to jump out of the car and then five seconds to replace the steering wheel. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, it was good, but it's fine. <laughs> High five. That's my first win. <laughs> nah. What do you remember about the competition last year? Obviously, it's the most special thing I've ever achieved in my life. And I'm just still a little bit starry eyed today, just kind of walking around, seeing, you know, me in this green suit. Obviously, I, I never expected to get anywhere near this point in my career, so it's, it's very special for me. So you've won the award at the end of last season. How do you feel like your life has changed since that point? Was there like a switch? Because of the award, it gave me the leverage to, to get into F3 and kind of get myself in the F1 package and, and show myself to, to the big leagues, which is, is quite cool. If it weren't for the award, I don't think I'd be anywhere near anywhere near uh, where I am now. Yeah, so a big part of that award is the check, which you can use to do what you want to help your career. Yeah. The other part of it is driving the Aston Martin here. How much have you been looking forward to this day? There isn't really a word of, of what I'm feeling. Um, there's kind of every emotion you can think of, like nervous, but also excited, but also really happy. You know, I can only experience my first time driving an F1 car once. Hopefully I'll get to F1 in the future and I'll be able to drive many more. But if I don't, then I want to make sure that I really enjoy the moment. Um, and just kind of appreciate where I am. You know, it's, it's going to be something that I, I'm going to make sure stays in my memory for my whole life. It's 9 a.m. on the second day and the team prepares the car for its first runs. Joseph meets up with friends and family who have gathered here to watch this milestone in his career under the watchful eye of Derek Warwick. Well, I think we're still going to aim to run at 10. Yeah. Hello. What are you here for then? I'm right. not sure. <laughs> I was just kind of told to turn up. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? That chubby little kid from that. I know. <laughs> yeah. I said from day one. one. No, I said one. from day one. I'm proud of him. <laughs> I was waking up every two hours, checking my phone and going, not yet, rolling over, going back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
just before the first run, I had the chance to catch up with the young driver and see how the nerves were treating him. 2022 Aston Martin F1 car, and you're yeah. 30 minutes away from hopping in this thing. What are you thinking right now? Oh, I didn't think I'd ever hear those words, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it is going to be pretty special to drive a car like this, and yeah, I, I can't wait really, can I? Wow. <laughs> It's, it's a very special moment for me. You know, my mom's already cried about 27 times. Um, it, it's just very special for everyone that's kind of been there to support me as well. Like, the problem that I had is that there's so many people that I needed to invite because they all deserve to be here that I've kind of invited as many as I could. <laughs> I got it. She's getting buttoned up, man. Right, I'll let you get ready. Yeah, that's cool. Thank See you. See you a bit, buddy. Cool, thanks. The step up from GB3 to F3 was pretty big, but yeah, I've been training my neck as much as possible um, just to get myself as ready as I can be. But to drive an F1 car, so it's pretty cool, isn't it? Whether I am ready or not, I don't know, but all I can say is that I've done the most that I could and I put my absolute hardest into making sure that I'm strong enough to drive the car. I haven't really set myself any particular goals. You know, I don't know how the day will go. I don't know how I'll perform, I don't know, I don't know anything about it basically, so I just want to enjoy it. So if for any reason you stall, uh, they, and the anti-stall kicks in, just remember to pull the clutch. Yep. Yeah, and with the clutch gun, you have to go like 30 kph until you release the clutch completely. Yeah. So when you drive out, you're still with the clutch a bit. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's probably. we do the weight check. We need to get you on the scales as well, which are somewhere behind there. Yeah. When you have your full kit on, yeah, then you jump on your car. Okay. And finally, after months of waiting and years of dreaming about this moment, Joseph climbs into the car for his first run. So, Joseph, radio check. Confirm radio check. That's loud and clear. All good, all good. Second gear, 80 kph. Remember to switch off your pit limiter. So Joseph, as discussed, this will be a new set of hearts for the first run. Let's do a radio check. Radio check. Yeah, go on, what is it? Box is slap. Box is slap. Joseph just finished his insulation lap, so that's literally out, doesn't cross the start finish line, comes straight back in, and that's mostly just for the guys to check through all the systems are working okay. And I, used to, I think he's just doing a little small adjustment to the back of the headrest. You happier with the headrest? Anything else, Joseph? Quickly say, before we get into it, this is absolutely incredible. Like, it's seriously mental to my brain. It's all good. Remember, it's just the first time in F1 car for many, many. When you see um, them come out after their first run, and he, he's just like a little kid, he's just, you know, it's amazing, it's unbelievable. Um, it's going to be so boring getting back into the F3 car again, you know, so this is, this is the pinnacle. So for the next run, it's an out, and then we have to do three consecutive push laps for the pods learning. And then we do a cool push, cool push. So it's out one, then we go go one. Good job with the brake temperature, just good job. Go one, go one. Three time laps, brake temps are good. How is the balance? Uh, I think pretty okay for now. I'm not too sure to be honest, I don't really know what it should feel like, but it feels okay. Prepare for one more push. 
One of the most important parts of any racing car is the tires. And these special test tires on the car today are made so they heat up and generate grip very quickly. But on the other hand, it's also very easy to overheat them. He'll need to cool the tires down for an entire lap before he can push again. Only four years ago, yeah. he was driving a, a blinking Ford Fiesta around and he's just sat in that, it's just extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. When he announced it, instead of you get driving an F1 car, we all went, yeah, great, yeah. smashing, yeah, and we're here now, and it's like... Yeah. 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 <laughs> After his first run in a new car like this, Joseph is thinking about all the places he felt like he had more pace in the car. Even after a few laps, he'll have a pretty good feeling for his braking points, how he was applying the brakes, how much more speed he can roll through the apex of the corners, and how much sooner he can get on the throttle. But in terms of learning exactly how this car behaves, he's only scratched the surface at this point. Crazy. I love it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so mental. Bad, isn't it? It's so quick. I did cops flat, though. you bad. No, you could see you were pushing. <laughs> Let me go give him a moment hug. How was it? It's so cool. <laughs> Oh, it's so quick. I know. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you saw it going around. You're like, oh, Joker. Mate, yeah. It's ridiculous. I want to do it again. Can we I go? We will be. We will go again. Don't worry, you will be. That's what he does, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? So it's quick. Such a, yeah. It's such a jump. But it's yeah. not by the look of it anyway. There was a smile on yeah. his face. I told my all my mates and all my family that I was going to do cops flat and oh, okay. run, so I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I said that I would do it, so I did. <laughs> Good. The thing that I found really interesting was that the car does everything for you. Like, you don't really have to think about the little things that you do in, for example, junior formulas. It's quite important considering how fast they're going and coming around that. It's like, yeah, that's, it's been a while since I've yeah. been out there, but that was, uh, everything about yeah. that was impressive. The tires, the warm up and everything, was that foreign? Did it feel natural the way they came in? Or are you still feeling it out? I, I mean, I, I don't know. I've only done one, one, one run and it was on a used set, so they'll basically be there straight away. But you're actually more worried about overheating the tyres than having them too cold. So um, I think that one was just kind of let me figure things out. And yeah, now sure. I get to actually properly put some lap times together. So we have to change the strat from strat 7 to strat 5. Gives you a bit more deployment. So this is Joseph's second run on a used soft tire. After the first run, the car had a little bit too much understeer in it. So Rob, the engineer, put a little bit more front wing for this run to help balance out the high speed of the car. And then after this, he's going to get one more run on a new hard and a new soft tire to see just how fast the car will go. Joseph, for the last lap, we're gonna go strat two. Strat two. Oh, well, now that is exciting. The hybrid system on a modern Formula One car seems quite complicated, but the engineers do a brilliant job of simplifying all these different functions across only a few switches on the steering wheel. If you're doing a single push lap, you'll want to spend as much of the battery you can across that single flying lap, and then recharge the battery on the next cooldown lap. But let's say you're trying to do a stint of 10 or 20 laps without running out of battery, the amount of energy you'll be able to spend per lap needs to be reduced substantially. Well done. Box this lap. Box this lap. Let's go to out three. I just need to clean it up a little bit. Two more runs. Yeah, <laughs> two more runs to get it right. We'll be fine. Yeah, 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 I'm not like putting myself under pressure or anything. Yeah, well done. Just kind good. of chipping away. I don't want to go out and try and be no, like, no, no, you don't need It's not worth it. You don't need to. It's going nicely. Let's keep it going. Yeah, no, I'm doing what you do. It's cool. Yeah. I like it. Well done. I know that there's more. I've, the racing drive has come out, so good. I'm trying to find all of it. Good. I'm what? glad to hear that bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can yeah. hope so. Yeah, no, no, sure. Um, but yeah, I, I chopped six tenths off it, and then on my last lap, I'm, it, I found more. So okay. I could have had more than you said. But very different to everything else you've done, or it's, to be fair, it's probably something I'm not doing enough in F3. Okay. So it might actually teach you something. Yeah. Sure. Um, 
you know, I tend to be quite kind of, all right, let's go <laughs> out the goal and stuff like that in F3. So I don't know, yeah. maybe it'll help me in F3. I hope it will. I think all this is about smooth. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is quite an eye opener almost. How gentle you have to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just like that, it's Joseph's final run in the car. A flat out blast on these grippier soft tires. A chance to show everybody what he can do. Wow, big Sam, there we go. <laughs> and the thing with these soft tires is they're pretty much only good for one lap, hence full send. Stay on go one, keep pushing. Okay, stop it. Joseph, well done. Very good job. It's not every day that you get to see somebody drive a Formula One car for the first time. And having seen quite a few of them myself, I'm not sure that I've seen anyone quite like Joseph. On one hand, he was calm, collected, and thoughtful. And he was able to take in all the information from the engineers and execute a flawless set of runs in one of the fastest racing cars in the world. And on the other hand, he was extremely excited and he wasn't afraid to show it. But a lot of drivers try so hard to be serious and not express themselves too much. But Joseph made the absolute most out of this opportunity, and his excitement didn't take anything away from his ability to focus once the helmet was on and he was strapped into the car. These young drivers are very impressive. Being able to go from a Formula 3 car to a Formula 1 car in just a handful of runs is absolutely wild. The differences in cornering speeds, braking power, downforce, and grip is completely staggering but it just goes to show you the level that these young drivers are capable of operating at should they be given the opportunity. I think it's, for us, it's great. It's just great to see that the passion that we saw uh, when, we, when we chose him, to see that the passion and the excitement that we see, obviously, when he's getting his first chance to drive a, a Formula One car at Silverstone as well, home of the British Grand Prix. And, it, and it's just wonderful seeing that happy, smiley face, it's the family. Yeah, the family absolutely. around him as well that are, that are here supporting him as well. So it's wonderful to see that. And it's just so nice for us to see he's had that opportunity finally. Seeing it on that track, just him in an F1 car at Silverstone, I mean, doesn't get better than that, does it? Doesn't get better than that. One word or a couple of words, what's your takeaway from this test? Like, what do you, where, where, where's your head at right now? I want to do it again and again and again, and as many times as I'm allowed. But um, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to today. But one day, I hope I'll, I'll drive one of them again. Um, and hopefully, it'll be on the F1 grid. So that's the goal. Awesome, dude. Well done. You did an awesome job. Thank you very much. I really appreciate every single one of you um, for this. It's been a privilege uh, to drive the car. So yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I hope I get to drive it again at some point. But if I don't, then. I'll remember this for the rest of my life, so thank you. Now nah, I'm sure you're going to drive again somewhere. <laughs> I hope so. That's nah, great to have you in the car.